Hello and welcome back to Kelly the Sixth Place. I'm Alex, and today we are doing some more Xenoblade Chronicles 3. Last time we did three specific quests involving uh, Alexandria. Se well, let's redo that. Sigiri, Teach, and Alexandria, in order of how we did the quest, rather than going backwards. Uh, and today we are doing some more uh, quests and whatnot. Uh, I'll be going through a couple old areas because I have characters and stuff that I need to do. Okay, so or keep it a check on. Okay. Uh, that's seven, one, two, three. Oh. These aren't 10, these are 5. Five, 10, 15, 25. Not enough. Okay. Uh, today's session is going to be a little on the slow side. Or I am just going to be going through some some of the other colonies, checking to make sure there's no uh, post ascension quest uh, quests that I have yet to do, similar to uh, new names, uh, Isaurus quest, and uh, uh, Gamma if I require Teach and Alexandria's birthday quest. So here we are, and we do have. Two sitting right here. Shall we eat? They say an army marches on its stomach. The spongy spud things. They're delish. So much so that I wonder if it's almost lunchtime all the time now. This sounds pretty serious. Spongy spuds are so good, I could eat them by the sack load. Oh god. I know, I can always make space in my belly for them. Potato lovers. Oh, God. A third one with the spongy spuds? When we went south to Jing with Ellis, she met up with an upon caravan. They told her that a place called Hope's Rest had fertile soil for growing plants, but it seems far away, to be honest. Ah, oh, talking about Hope's Rest in, by the castle in the Condensia region. Speaking of, I should probably change uh, which hero now. We'll make it. Nope. All of us. Kite has nothing. Roald has nothing. They can space these things out pretty far. Yeah, tier they are. What's that you're looking at? Data from the Condensia region? Yep. Ellis asked me to find the data for... Or, Eilis. And now we know things. Okay. Oh. We have every character required for this, so... Uh, let's get going. Everything required in this area. So we'll do some of this. So, Tyron, do you have a moment? I have something I would like to discuss. So, yeah. Oh, so there's two. News of Ellis is a separate quest. Anyone else gain the feeling that nine folks might be eating too many spongy spuds? Seems to me they really fell in love with them, yeah? They always seem to be eating them. Eating them's one thing. But did you hear th about them talking about saving Ionios with them? Isn't that what we're doing too, curiously enough? Of course it's not. Uh, where is it? Well, if nothing else, ha spongy spuds are helping ease the food s shortages. So people don't have to fight so hard over resources. And if they don't have to fight, isn't that saving the world in some sense at least? Don't get me wrong, I'm not arguing with the logic. I'm just trying to point out that there's an important point you're missing. 
and that is it's eating nothing but potatoes it's boring as all get out Manana cannot take that line down potato goose <laughs> contain hidden death amount of possible variation so high is practically endless With wings and banana at spatula, it can eat potatoes all life and never not be satisfied. Well, I dare say this might just be Madonna's time to shine. Seeing as how that lot always basically just steam, steam their spuds, I think that might be a mercy. Manana will get case on case immediately. Time to save world with potato now. An extra 100 EXP. I was hoping for Xeon to pop in. Everyone's talking up the spongy spuds. They're mouth-watering even if you just steam them. And I say they were delicious. You look well made up. Not surprised he got teary-eyed just from eating them raw. Not just that. We can reliably raise a sizable yield without much difficulty. This has put a lot of minds at ease. I think it's safe to say... Spongy spuds are the key to nine survival. The whole colony seems much brighter now. Everyone's getting a go of working in the fields. When people are less anxious, they're less prone to confrontation too. I just wish we had a similar way to reduce inter-colony hostilities. Don't we? Maybe we should give it a try. Give what a try exactly? Let's try it. Spreading the potatoes to other colonies. They'd solve food shortages and maybe help a little with the tension and anxiety of the war. Nine certainly works as a successful test model, but are you sure this is going to work? We'll do our best to make it work. Hunger makes it hard to think rationally. It eats away at the heart. We need to free people from that anguish. Well, then let's get going. Spread the good news of the spongy spud. Can't waste any time. So I'll call some friends. We'll continue this conversation in the commander's office. Oh, God. Everything I heard there is just worship the potato god. <laughs> so, about Elith. Seems like she hasn't come back to Colony 9 in forever. First, I've heard of it. What else has been going on while I've been away? That's worrying. No one has any idea. Not in the slightest. Looks like she's upped and left in a leaveness that narrows it down, but I think she's probably okay, but... If she's taking the leaveness out, then she might mean to bring back something big. Maybe she needs to travel a great distance. What business could she would she have outside Colony 9? Either right, way, we're going to go find her, right? But it's if she's in trouble. Come on, hup, hup, let's go. Yeah. Ah, that's right. She said something about the soil on Hope's Rest. There's nothing there anymore. We should check around the prison. Let's see if we can find her. A chance encounter. Interesting. Right then. Watch nine come in contact with Colony Zero. I'm just saying. Would you have a minute? I'd like to discuss agronomy. Agronomy. We can discuss this on our next break over some herbal tea. <laughs> so as we discussed earlier. Want to teach other colonies how to grow sp spongy spuds. Conflicts over fruit supply are tragic. If there's anything we could do to help ease them, we should. I guess places with poor weather or bad crops owe us a favor. Looks like nobody objects. I mean, this is great and all, but how are you going to do it? You can't just hand over a spud and call it done. We will need people to be able to teach on site. I'd like... Rolled and kite to take charge of that. Work with the people in charge, listen to what they want. We'll do. We will need to suss out the best colonies for cultivation and discuss things with the leaders. 
But the most important thing right now is the soil. Uh, yeah, the soil needs earthworm wood, right? I've done some analysis on that front. Colony 4 and Mu fulfilled the geological criteria. Two locations. That will be tricky for the teachers to handle. How about we narrow it down to one as a test case? Why don't you pick who we will approach first? Let's see. Moo. Is that your final answer? Let me think. Uh, no. Moo's probably better because they're a younger crowd. Nope, I'm good. Okay, let's go talk to the resource buds with Xeon. Pretty shaded, mate. I hope this works. I, see some I feel calling a four. Oh. How much a single spud can make. I find this funny. We have to come here anyways for this quest line. <laughs> I like how it's like, oh, well. We have to come to the Condensia region anyways. <laughs> I forgot about that one. <laughs> Actually, I should... I say this. Let's do move first, just so that uh, <laughs> it's done. And then we'll do the uh, other quest. Rejoice! This soil should be perfect for spongy spuds. Oh, You're we really got getting a... into this. Hello, Nico. Nico, you got a sec? Oh, hi, guys. What do you need? Spongy spuds. You say, are they really all that? Greatest food, best known to man. Oh, that's a confident assertion. Yeah, sorry. This guy's very into potatoes. If you're worried about how to prepare the fields, no need. Colin and I'm willing to send experienced labor over. So what do you think about it? Nico has to admit, Nico doesn't eat many potatoes, but Nico, and just to be clear, I am Nico, is willing to entertain the notion. We'll talk it over with the others. You don't mind if I don't have an answer right away, do you? Of course. Take all the time with me. We'll head back to Colony 9 and let us know if anything comes up. We'll do things. And back to the colony. Okay. Okay. Hmm. There are a number of these kinds of quests. Zeon fell. <laughs> I'm like, why did the health bars come up? Hang on. <laughs> you came just at the right time. We just got word that someone in Moo wants to learn to grow potatoes. Ooh, that was quick. I was actually about to s assign some teachers. I was thinking of leaving this one to Earl and Carrie. We've heard it's full of young people, so we picked a pair of they can feel a bit more at ease with. And Earl's got a bit of green thumb. Yep. Right, he was a big help with the fertilizer. So sorry about the sudden request, but would you help? If Earl's in, I'm in. I don't think I'll be m much used, to be perfectly honest, but I'm not going to turn my nose up at an opportunity like this. It'll be interesting to get a look at a col an acne and colony. Okay, good to hear. The other thing we have to take in consideration is it's bad it's a food people aren't familiar with but it's a roadblock if no one knows how to cook it yeah we could share our favorite recipes what do you think sounds like forte of manana manana very well equipped to share goodness of spongy spuds with the world well i'm telling you give them a quick steam a job's a good one Friend, serious about spongy spuds, then higher height of deliciousness can be achieved. Cooking intuition of Manana say so. 
Okay, then how about this? We could try to find an original recipe suited to that colony. We can find out what the colony's particular taste, what they're looking for, and I think we'll get people on board that way. Yes, that good plan. Manana all for it. Weird for you to think about how on board people are with a plan. It just means people can change no matter how many terms they've got under their belt. Okay, okay, that's enough. So Manana's taking care of the recipes. We can do the asking around then. Good, then let's start collecting data from Moo. Okay. Back to Cadencia. Bed of woes and... Uh, it's a sight to behold. Worse than wishes. So, like for one of my recent lunch boxes, I put in a thousand carrot shaped like a star. Oh, that sounds so cute. I'd love to have that in my lunch box. Colony f moves food blight. Yeah, that's a very weirdly shaped mountain now that you look at it. I am so done with eating fish. They're just not meant to be eaten every single day, man. Man, that's a real r tasty looking ration you got there. I just love how crispy it is. I'd eat them every day, all day, every day if I could. Council was there among us all, all the time. Ba ba ba. Avoid that for now. I'm not good with fluffy cloud ears. They just look so unappetizing. The disappointing thing is that they, if they look just the tiniest bit cuter, I think I'd find them actually palatable, you know? To the canteen! We could do with some food. Where should I start? So about that recipe you've come up with for Moo. Market research was very superb. People of Moo want to feast eyes on cuteness of food before tums on tastiness. I find their preoccupation with the cuteness of their food somewhat irrational, but to each their own. <laughs> It is not irrational. Presentation, very important element of cooking. Part of people is very sensitive to appearance. That makes sense when an ingenious take. Talked about texture with them too, and a good crispiness pulled high. So they want a potato that's cute, but also f uh, has a nice mouth feel. Can't even imagine what that would be. Don't worry, pretty heads, and leave everything to Manana. Manana will make cute, tasty food that will never go out of style. I think french fry or tater tot. So, or chip. So, how do we put that into practice? I'll do whatever I, from you, nothing. Oh. <laughs> yeah, it's not the end of the world. Imagine a uh, image of recipe is like crystal in Manana's mind. Soon it's ready for present to 
Periods for a present to Colony Moot. Manana have complete faith in abilities. That's great news. Let's get cracking then. Manana, is there anything you need besides the spuds? Six spongy spuds, three portions of full body Ardon meat, and two whole le uh, heads of Empress lettuce. One big juicy broccoli and two thousand carrots. Two thousand carrots. Not two thousand carrots. That's too entirely too many. Can arrange some of that for you. You are really buzzing about this, aren't you? Quiet, Lons. <laughs> Once the ingredients are ready, we can field the creation to move. Let's have a look at the fields and then we can talk to Nico about cooking. So, quest update. To head, head to the colony move field. Which are... Down here. Oh there. Oh there. Everything seems to be going well here. We just got all these seed potatoes planted. Earl has a very kind and gentle way of planting. Nico feels sure that kind of planting will lead to extremely tasty taters, and I'm her, so I don't know. <laughs> Actually, that's just how you plant things. I was just trying to let the seeds know how hard they have to work to grow. Earl, you're just too much. <laughs> I'm really not. <laughs> They're getting on well. Yep. Time for eating. Wash human paws and get ready for cook. Oh, dinner. You know, it's hard to incorporate an unfamiliar ingredient into a menu. So Manana's put a special together a recipe for you. What? That's so cool. Where is it? Can Nico eat it now? Tee hee. Time to break from work to the mess hall. I'm calling it now. Spongy spuds are really going to take off around here. Must keep composure. Zeon, what in the freaking world are you doing? Let cooking begin. Now, what was it we needed? Yeah, I have a lot of these that are that. I need unique and rare variants. Oh, God. Well, the lettuce and the carrot, I think, are. And broccoli are all collectible, so I'm not surprised. The full body art on me. <laughs> God. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Spongy pawn fried croquettes is finished. Bon appetit. It's almost too adorable to eat. You should eat it though, it's great. Ho oh, ho ho. It's so crispy and fluffy, altogether yummy. Thanks so much for telling us about spongy spuds. Nico, that is me. That's me, Notch. Thanks, these are going to be a big hit with the whole colony. Glad to hear that. Still a long way to harvest though. You have to tend those fields every day. Don't worry, early will keep us right. Yeah. <laughs> now it's exciting to wait for day of harvest of spongy spuds, that's for sure. Oh man, they're going to outclass nine spuds. I very much doubt that, but it will be a friendly contest. The harder we all worked at this, the richer our day-to-day -day lives will become. At least that's what I believe. You've made a first step today, Zion. One more step toward your ideal. I never really thought of it as an ideal. I suppose it is, and maybe it's just a small step in the in the grand scheme of things. But for me, it's a pretty big one. Quest done. Three more SP points. Pals potatoes. Looks like colony relations have changed. Okay. Uh, let's finish up up. Here. Here, we have another small quest still going on here. A 
Ellis. Huh? What are you doing here? We've heard, we heard that you've been away from the colony for a while, so we came to look for you. What did you come he all the way out here alone for? A map on caravan told me that there's a good place to grow plants around here. I thought I could take a load of the soil and bring it back to fertilize the fields in Colony 9. But now that I'm here, ready to bring back the soil... I was tired from the long journey and made a mistake with the controls. Yeah, it looks that way. Riku, you're up. As if Riku have choice. Oh. Someone's there. I can hear footsteps. The voices came from this way. Oh, it's you. Oh, just give us a heart attack, why don't you? Oh, hi, Mwamba. Wait. Mwamba, it can't be you. You're alive? Ellis, the thing is... <laughs> I can't believe something like that could happen. It's weird to think that the Mwamba standing here isn't the Mwamba I knew. But I'm glad I got to meet him again. Ellis, a resident furball says we need to... Swap out some parts, but it should be fine. The loveness we came in is nearby. We should have some spare parts to give you. Thank you. So why did you come here? Hope's rest is rich in resources, so we came to looking to see what we could find. City's full of people who got out of the prison, like me. And that big surge in population isn't easy to cope with. Let me help you in return for fixing this up. You hear a game too. That would be great. Okay, so what we need from you is Dave Petals, Titanic Beehives, and Sody Stones. If you could get 10 of each of those things, we'd manage. Think you can manage that? Sure we can. Oh, God. I see one here. It feels wrong to act like he's still the old Mwamba. It's just not true. True. All we can do now is to give him the freedom to yeah. live the best life he possibly can. Knew I had... Oh, wait. I did want that page. Uh, Chance Encounter is a level 60. I'm not surprised. Ah. Hey. Mambo, what's up? Riggy said I should help you guys out. So here's what we've found so far. Dave Pet. So you decided to transfer to our salvage corpse. How wonderful, huh? You be sure to work you hard, too, right? Come on, lads. Give me a break. <laughs> Are you used to living in the city yet? I'm getting there. Monica and the others have done a lot for us. Me and Hack, do you know? That's good. I wonder why his memories haven't come back like Miyabi's. Yeah, well, when you think of how they died, that's probably for the best. I think so, too. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm like, hang on. Are you sure I didn't already have most of these items? Okay. We got three here, and probably the last one will be... Ow. So the stones. Up, oh, there's Hacked. He'll give me eight. Hey, Hacked. He'll go salvaging with you. Sure. So much already found. Hacked. Genius searcher. Wamba's the genius. He told me all the tricks. Can I ask you to take the stuff I can't carry? It pleasure of us to help. Okay. Are you friends with Mamba? Yeah, we've been through a lot together. He's one of those guys who takes people under his wing, you know? Huh. It seems like he's getting on well in the city. Seems so. It always stayed with me how we couldn't save him from the 
We know, we know it isn't him, but... I'm glad that this time we got to save him too. As am I. Uh, so it's a bit of the... Thankfulness so of saving... Changed. Helping out and... This is what we were after. So that takes care of that. The good thing. There's a third person here. Wonder who it will be. Wombo was up there. Hacked is over there. Biggie? Or Ellis? Yeah. Okay, here's what I've managed to find. Six Titanic beehives. One more push and that should be it. Well, we've picked up loads. Wamba lent us a hand. He's a born salvager. He's still Mwamba memories or not. I found the place where he was killed just by total chance. There is equipment left behind scattered all over the place. It's still hard to remember. The truth is when I crashed the Levinus, I was distracted thinking about him. So I was really surprised to see him. Oh, that was. He's doing okay, right? That's what he said. And that's good, I'm glad. This is what we were after. Don't you go losing that. So, some a uh, retread of the uh prison mission, but with a slightly more better outcome. Return where the loveness is. Ah, it's back up. All fixed. Yep. Thank you so much. I owe you one. Everyone's probably out of their minds with worry, so I'd get better get back to calling nine straight away. Not going to chat with Mamba. It's fine, he doesn't know me anyway. It would just make me sad. Uh, I gotta see him smile one more time. That's enough. I mean, think about it. If it was the Wamba I knew, he'd have hit his time long ago. Right. I'm just glad that this time I get to say goodbye properly. Hey, you going already? Yep. I've got my own stuff I need to be getting back home. Ah, shame. You're from the same colony as Noah and the others, right? Right. I guess I'll see you next time then. You will? Yeah, me and Hacked have been talking about taking a trip when things have calmed down, seeing the world. And we decided our starting point would be for Colony 9. You did? And I'll be waiting to say hi when you come. Good. See you then, Ellis. See you, Mamba. <laughs> I definitely saw that in the corner with Hacked. She just randomly waving her off. Small attention to detail. That's great. See some relations have changed. And almost done now. Uh. Okay. There is one more quest. Uh. Let's use this area. The Cow Canteen. Why do I want to use this one? Well, the Tau Potatoes seem like it's a quest line bit, so I was going to check that. Yes, sure well it's spongy spuds. Ah. Poor Tal, now they have to fight with another cow <laughs> colony for food. I have so much <laughs> here. Okay, so that seems all done.
Um. Let my do the talking. Yeah, sure. Um. I started all of you guys at the same time. How in the world? Three of you aren't even C class ranks on your thing. Oh no, you two are C rank. D, 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 D. Okay, never mind. But two are D ranks and two. <laughs> How are the two D ranks different from the other two D ranks? The C ranks I could understand, but I also needed to do them because I didn't have others of the same things. That water down at the spring of Ronair really does make you feel like a new person. You've got to try it. That should be enough data. Virginia. Hmm. That smell. I'm guessing serious uh, an anemone. Oh, yes. I have a personal stash, but I like to keep some on hand to make herbal tea with. Oh, didn't take you for a tea guy. Well, then I got a tip for you. So listen up. Try making tea with Mallow of the Marsh. It's a fungus. Quite pungent, but great for your health. It builds strength, apparently. Understood. Thank you. I'll be sure to make note of it. I'm just going to fill my entire catalog with all these spare stuff on the back end. <laughs> if that's just what it feels like <laughs> is happening, is I'm just absolutely doing all that we could do with some food actually i probably should have started with moo strength giving water Let's lay out the facts. requires juniper so there's supposed to be the spring whose water makes you stronger yeah i heard about that too just from drinking it wow that's the dream man yeah i'd love to love a bit of that not fun have story about eating red pollen or make you strong Probably same kind of story. Uh, red pollen orb is a drug last time I checked. <laughs> I'd love to find that spring. It's a load of bullocks. If something like that really exists, why haven't other colonies heard of it? I've got to say, I have no knowledge of this either. Then why don't we investigate it? I mean, if we look into it and it finds that... That there really is water that makes you stronger, that's a win-win, right? True. But this wouldn't be the first spurious legend to grace this colony. If this is a malicious custom that started in Tao, we better debu should debunk it now. As you wish, the spring of Renar is the place. Wait, I didn't like that picture. Nutka. What are you doing here? They're, look they're looking for the spring. What about you, Nutka? I was thinking of putting all that knowledge I got from Iota about waters and rocks to use. I think perhaps drinking this water isn't suddenly going to turn you into a better soldier. So good. It's just why. How can it be? Oh, it does taste nice. You can make a sublime cup of tea with this. It is really top quality water, but I don't think there's anything particularly special in it. So it's just a normal spring? Seems that way. I don't think it will give you any powers. What? <laughs> Tell that to these bulging biceps. Both of you are already plenty strong enough. It's all in your head. <laughs> Should we try one more spring? If found other fountains are as good as this, then it would spare us trek. Is there a spring closer to trial? Tell? There is. The area is a, area is a bit too monster infested for comfort. At worst, we might be surrounded. 
the Earth Spring is a lot more peaceful, and it would be far preferable for us as a water source. I see your point. Okay, let's take a look. Follow me. Thanks. Okay, so this one, yeah, is kind of monster infested, but... <clears throat> Oh, come on. Seriously? Doing this allows me to actually pay attention to the background tracks. Because whenever I'm doing this, I'm more focused on doing what I'm doing in the game. Rather than paying attention. Really do like this piece, too. Now, this kind of gives me that, like, Consider partially Metroid vibe. Maybe it's for the best that Tao don't have to go all that far. That's true. Yeah. If anyone gets hurt in the process, it'll be defeating the purpose. Yeah. That is true. Yeah, I had a feeling. Wait here while I look around. Hmm. Well, its composition is practically identical to the other spring. Interesting. It's definitely better to draw our water from here. We've had a lot of casualties getting our water from that spring. This is far and away the better choice. Both pretty much the same. Then how come the other ones got uh, out a legend about beefing you up and this one doesn't? No idea, it's just something that people have said. That's how custom works. It doesn't matter how ludicrous they are. People refuse to let go of them. Glory always had an awful time trekking up there to fetch water. If we can lighten her load, I count that a win. He's already working hard enough to trying to treat all her injured. Graziana, too. She and Glory are responsible for the water supplies. Grazinia's very careful. Thankfully, she hasn't had any unpleasant monster encounters yet. The water's so good from this spray, too. She should be pleased. You mind if we leave you to spread the good news? No problem. Let me just fill her up first. Thanks for coming out here. No bother at all. We're just happy if we can stop more people from getting hurt. Right, it's a little... It's little things like these that make life easier for everyone. Hang in there. Okay. Small quest. Small extra quest. What her of Rana. First die is another one of Tao's superstitions. The returned. Interesting. The returned quest I see information. Some Time to take the fast way. And six people died in the ground in low in the lower Makfa woods. <laughs> nice. Can we get a bite to eat, please? Yeah. We could do with some. Food. I interrupted a line though. Dang it! The returned disgust. Could you all come around for a second? Looks like the people who went from Tao to other colonies have come back. Those were colonies we liberated, and we did notify they'd be coming, so it's not like I was overly worried. But still, it's no small feat to get there and back alone. I don't think I could have made it. Yeah, me neither. Not on my own, anyways. And yet, as a learning experience, I'm sure it was invaluable. I agree with you. It's bound to spur on Colony Tau in all cert sorts of ways. Expected or not. For this, the place was slowly headed for the scrap heap, and no one would have been the any the wiser. They grabbed this opportunity opportunity and ran with it. Good on them. Certainly, we could stand to emulate their example. Okay. That's good. And brings up some post some post Are stuff. We ready to fight? Yeah, there's a lot of extra. Maybe I can re-trigger. Let's try and re-trigger this. Because I tr re-triggered uh Nope. Uh 
Okay. Uh, there is one more move quest I could do. That's the other thing I was noticing. Even if you're in the region, but you're in a town, you don't get the st standard music. You get the town music. Uh, Fiona. There are two here, and there's one on the bottom. Nico and the others have been looking busy, haven't they? It's been a real get up and go attitude in the maintenance crew. Guess they must want to they must want to feel good in the colony. That's so, why don't we lend them a hel helping hand? Changes the foot in colony move. There's Lotus. Talk to Lotus. Hey, look at this. Yep, that's a bit of broken wood, all right. No. Really, look at it. Don't you find the shape interesting? If you polished it up all nice, it make a cool plate with a handle, don't you think? That's a really cleanly broken bit of wood, huh? But it speaks more chopping board than plate to me. Wait a minute. There's something written on it. Huh? Where? Oh, yeah. It reads, need help. Where did you find this thing? Oh, on the hidden coast. There are all kinds of things washed up there. No, if that was someone's distress signal, maybe some other clues washed up on the beat. Let's go have a look. Oh, God! <laughs> uh, that one will happen later. Okay, yeah. Um, where is this? Hey, it's back over here. Never, never really came to this corner. Now that I think about it. Nope. Uh, anything up there? No. There are four spots right here. All four in a line. Windblown cargo. I love the sea. This looks like another piece of that debris. More debris. Yeah, yeah, we do. We're up over here. Why well, specifically here? I was going to check in case the other eye was the information blurb was over here for the other that. There's a number of these blurbs that I have been missing out on. What happened with Irma came as a shock, but this ain't no time to be down in the dumps. I'm sick of not being any help to Fiona. She's the one going through the worst of it, after all. Too true. It's our turn to be strong and dependable now. Some food. Ah. 
Fiona is not required for this quest. I gotta say, I was worried for a minute there. But it seems like everything, like the mood in Moo has really changed, don't you think so? For real. Say, feels like everyone decided to take on some degree of responsibility. I'm so glad it all worked out. Hold on, I'm getting a message. It's from Moo? Hey, I'm sorry to bother you. Where are you right now? Uh, wait. Don't go. Stop it. Someone, help. Hey, what's going on? Hey, spark it. I lost him. What was that all about? That was Tussie's voice. Sounded like something's wrong. Let's go check it out. The future I want to spin. I wonder if that... The required hero failed to uh, pop up. Oh, hello. What's going on, everyone? That's what we wanted to ask you. By the sound of that message you sent, we thought you might need urgent assistance or something. Oh, that. We do need help, but I feel you've m uh, misunderstood, actually, we. But where did this fella come from? Uh, I'm sorry. This drunker is quite the rascal, f though I was think it was trying to be playful. Oh, you found it. What a relief. Is anyone going to clue us in? <laughs> so the truth is, we were trying talking about trying to race our Moo. So, and there's so many of them roaming around here anyway. Well, that was our reasoning, but... They're actually quite a handful. They keep trying to run away. This one went missing a short while ago, so... Which is why I called you in a panic. <laughs> right. So sorry to alarm you. <laughs> Phew, I'm so glad it wasn't serious. <laughs> this is the last... This is the last one. Thank you, Gogo. You're a lifesaver. Even Gogo is helping you. It come wandering in Flower Patch. It, they're big trouble if it eats flowers. Gogo painstakingly grow. We have to come up with something so that we don't have to chase them every day. Why not use fences to build pen? They may be feel more calm and feel safe versus go go her. Of course, a pen. You think Nico will give us materials? I think so. Let's ask Tylo and the rest to help too. I won't be able to carry it all on my own. Tussler, can you take care of the armies? Yep. Good dude. You sound like you know what you're talking about. Where did you learn about armies? Gogo just read in this. In books somewhere, though not sure if any more details than that. Is there a textbook or something about them? If it doesn't ring a bell with you, you need, then it probably isn't in any confessy text. Now nah, I guess it's not in any acne manuals either. At least not as far as I know. <laughs> this is the first I've per heard of purposely keeping armies on colony grounds. If neither of you know anything, then maybe the city might have the information we need? Let's go and look into it. I see some relations have changed. Uh, uh, one, two, three. I haven't really grabbed much more metal yet for that quest related mark because, uh, well. I haven't. <laughs> I see some relations have changed. Okay. Too well well. Well well offer welcome. Please make yourselves at home and shop with Well Well. I knew this place sold books, but this is well, is there friends thing friends want to know? Well, well, loves seeing curiosity and customers, but see if knowledge is deep and vast. Friends need help of well, well, to find. If you could, that would be great. We're looking for books about racing Armu. Well, well, perfect. Have perfect intro textbook for that. It have two volumes full of infos. 
Oh my wings, you actually have something? Shop up Will Will full of treasures from all places in all time. Of course, Will Will has something. Many somethings, in fact. So much choice. Army Physiology. Or done Physiology. Please come shop with Will Will again. Uh, nope. <laughs> Man, there are a lot of those points. Did you miss me, army friends? Yeah, that's it. Okay. Did you find something? Okay, so we're handing over. Wow, I can't believe you actually found a book on our move. I think it might be a bit difficult to follow, though. Hello. Oops. <laughs> Anyways, let's take a closer look. Oh, there's a bunch of pictures in here. Oh, my socks and sparks. I love it. They're so pretty and cute. This bit says something about adults and also children. What does that mean? Adults and children are... Hmm, how should I explain this? I think big ones are adults and small ones are children, Lotus. Oh, that's right. There's labels on the pictures. Guess you won't need to explain after all. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Good one. <laughs> oh, look. It talks about making a pen, too. Seems like who was right. And here's the part about feeding. It says it's important what and how much to eat. It's meant to affect the milk's taste, too. Forks, I forgot to get the armu fodder. Need to ask Nico for some pronto. How much do you need? Even with all that Nico can spare, we only have about half of what the book recommends. Oh, how about I go gather the rest? Or you could just feed them a little less. Ow. This one really has it out for me. Alright, alright, come off it. If we help, will you leave me alone? Would you really? Thanks so much. Should we give the, any food we find to you then, Tassor? Yes, please. Thank you ever so much. <laughs> Aren't they kind, little buddy? I see some relations have changed. Hand over required items. What? Well, Good little dudes. Looks like they've been waiting ages for some food. Now, what was it we oh needed? my god. Ten. Four. Ten. Thank you so much. This is going to fill all their little bellies right up. Now there's one last challenge for us. Now we have to pick a big armu and a big Arden and put them together. Apparently the day after it rains, a new little one will be born. It's really important that they're compatible, it says. So I'm trying hard to work out which one goes with... 
compatible. Just like how two people can be compatible. Maybe you should pick based off personality then. Personality, huh? Um, <laughs> I don't know what the answer is here. <laughs> I want to say I think I have an idea. No. No, you can finish Moo in like chapter five, so this one's gonna be hard just to find which will quest it is just so I know what I'm doing. I don't even know which quest I took. <laughs> I'll be honest. Apparently, I wasn't paying attention. Oh, apparently there's something in Chapter 6 I don't think I got. Curiosity Part 2. Oh, haven't gotten Part 1 done. Chance encounter? No. That's what we just did. I already did special instructors. That was last session. For this. Uh, for this game. Uh...
It's hard to figure out. Uh, figure out this if I haven't seen this. I just realized. Oops. Um. Is this a later quest? Um... Don't know if this quest is where I'm looking. <laughs> Missing to the hunt of plenty? Nope. Life in city. Uh, is it lose yourself? No. Choices? Nope. I don't know why I can't seem to find this specific quest. <laughs> found the one. I found the one that comes after this, which is future trajectory. Weird. <laughs> Let me check a different thing. Yeah, this is the one I was looking. Uh, this wasn't even the right thing. <laughs> it talks about the past one. 
Ah, uh, the future I want to spin. There we go. Easy and timid. That's what I was thinking. I think the carefree nature of that Arden is less likely to scare the army. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> In that case, I'll suggest we go with the pairing you suggested. Yes. Thank you so much. I, I, then I think we found our pair. I wanted to know if there was a choice or not, which one was correct or not. If there was a difference. No, we just have to wait for the rain, right? You mentioned that. Apparently, there's a powerful Napon who can summon the rain clouds. Let's circle back once it's rain. Seriously, all the way over here? Time to take the fast way. We're back to this again. <laughs> Am I surprised? No. Walk up it, Noah. I can see why the NPCs have issues dealing with this crap. Why? Why is it so difficult? Hit that. Oh, container. I was going to do something and forgot. Hey, no rain. Pitter patter again. Oh, what song? This, friends ask? Rain song? Yes, we know. Hey. It's only a hundred. This warp doesn't screw over the rain. Okay. No sparking way. There's more of them? Yep, four more to be exact. Looks like even more of them made little ones than just the pair we chose. We're just trying to think of what names to give them. Nico and, again, that's me, was against. I don't think we should give them names. It'll be harder to say goodbye if we do. That's why we should name them. They're all living things just like us. Want to thank them for coming into this world and call them by their own name. Hey. You're a living being. It's just like us. You're right. We have to face the facts. Drop wart and dropy done. Hickory and hickey done? And this can be a uh, relax, Tussie. You don't have to give them, have to name them all, uh, name all of them in one go. Exactly. You all ha give it a thing too. Hold on a sec. I got an idea on the tip of my tongue. Living things just like us, huh? She's got a point. No such thing as a life that just passes by without leaving a single mark. Hey, have you ever tasted freshly squeezed milk before? So amazingly delicious. I have not. 
I probably most have not no wait, did you say squeeze? What's different about it? Sorry for you to get try some of it. Hold on, let me get you some. Nico will help too. As in Nico, I mean me. You don't have to go through all that trouble just for us. I think it would be wise just to accept their offer or risk showing bad manners. Anyway, if there's anything else you need help with, we're here for you. Thank you so much for everything you've done us. Be helping if you could keep helping out on our new ranch. Or being rude on this ranch because the pair up in our then and wait for the rain. Okay. I see some relations have changed. Uh now what was it we needed? There we go. Thank you. Now, what was it we needed? What in the world is with the... I've never seen so much speed in one place. I really appreciate your house. My new sweetie's half names now. Lotus and Goo were, Go were kind enough to help me think of them. Darlings are all grown up. Okay, so we're handing over. No. 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 Seriously? Cord acorn. Went through a bunch of that. How time flies. Thank you for everything you've done. Now stuff in their little bellies are full. Absolutely. Serene and considerate seem. Serene. That parent sure don't lack broad mindedness. Sure, they'd always have a smile on their face. In that case, we'll go with the pairing you suggested. Thank you. Now I have to wait for rain, right? Pit pata. I mean, I don't use my money at all. Should we look at this thing again? Because I wasn't paying attention earlier. <laughs> but we have to do this for another quest that comes up after this one. New beads start popping up later. Go for it once and then... Others will start. This feels like the art, the armu Arden one from uh, Colony, or not Colony, uh, Xenoblade Two, just on a slightly smaller scale. You're not trying to create the biggest Arden ever that will immediately wipe the floor at you at level ninety nine. Don't talk to me about that one. That that one sucks. <laughs> you want rain to make visit? Okay, do it again. Yep. I'm not going to keep repeating. Oh, Thank you. Great. Okay, so this time it's pink. I it feels like at this point it's may majorly just to keep the uh you from going through unlike the spongy spuds, which had a chance to fail every so often. Yep, there's no months.
new baby Armu is born. So small yet so clearly an Armu. It's a sa fascinating phenomenon, is it? I hate the fact that it's kind of like, hey, you know what? We're just going to keep killing them. Keep killing the adults. Okay. If I see an eye, we're good. Okay. We're good here. Um. There's apparently still so much more I have to do. <laughs> oh. Oh, we're only... I know I didn't do much with me prior to uh, the Ascension quest, so... Yeah, I'm not super surprised. That's not what I wanted. Um, Infinity chart. United with Tau and Colony 9. Colony 9 is united with those same two. A lot more is going on now. This guy didn't update, weirdly enough. On the Colony 4 level, but they also didn't talk with the commander. Yeah, and we still have city stuff to do. So that is going to be it for this uh, session. I'll try and put timestamps. Uh, I need to update a set of timestamps even because, uh, as mentioned a couple times that during these recordings, that uh, I was out for the past couple weeks. I should be getting back to it shortly. Uh, Speaking of which, there may be a stream later today where I finish the game. Well, not finishing all the story. <laughs> Just to get some po to the post game and start doing some of this stuff off screen. Uh, and later streams that just come up later. But, uh... We'll see. Uh, I might end up ha recording more sessions similar to this style one depending on if i can even stream later today so uh keep posted on that uh essentially whatever goes up on wednesday proves if i finished the game or not <laughs> might not be till friday till i finish the game uh, on here because there's some stuff i want to do off screen uh for post game early and on so that i can still do stuff off screen but, uh, yeah, uh, we still have, I still have to do freaking unique monsters and other quests. <laughs> I think I have another, like, five hours worth of quests to do. <laughs> and you already see my time frame. I'm already at 137 hours. It's good to keep a record. <laughs> But anyways, thank you all so very much for watching and stopping by. Uh, I hope you enjoyed. Uh, and and as I was going on, I am going to be trying to make sure, especially this part, this session and last session, both have time codes for anybody needing to look for a specific quest. Especially this one. But also putting eye cards in, especially for quests that I had to go do other to uh, I ended up not doing that quest immediately but maybe it, its information is in a different uh in a different video so yes uh this is going to be a series of that will be updated c continually over I'll probably say the next month month and a half as I try to get getting around to doing that um other than that uh there is one more stream that is currently being planned. Uh, and that is uh, this upcoming Saturday. While I am going to be busy this Saturday, uh, th this week with 
my word. Uh, I am at least able to stream this week, as mentioned prior. Um, Saturday into Sun, Saturday night into Sunday morning. It is New Year's, so I'm planning on doing a cup. May at the current moment of this recording, I am currently planning on streaming some New Year's stuff just to hang out. Maybe Mario Kart Eight. Stuff I haven't done any of the new DLC stuff, so I'd be interested in doing that. Maybe Smash, maybe maybe Splatoon Three. Uh, it'll probably be a mixed kind of day. I might even stream multiple times just to stream some more. Uh, but yeah, uh, stop by if you're interested. Uh, and once again, thank you all so very much for watching and stopping by. I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day, and I'll see you next time. Bye.